Hell yeah, brother. You're on the Please Me For On YouTube channel. Holy crap, guys. We just got out to the car. It is scorching hot. We're cooked. It is so hot. Oh my gosh, dude. The air is stale. It is. It's got to be close to 95 already and it's 9 a.m. It's going to be well over 100 degrees today. Dude, I don't know if the Blazer's going to make it on this drive, Brent. I hope the Elko does. Good thing we got that big old radiator, dude. Everything's kind of against us, but... 540 miles today. 540? I thought it was 450. Solid 14-hour drive ahead of us. Solid. Let's do it. We're the last one standing. Oh, we got it, brother. <laughs> Think she's going to make it? The... The distance? She's idling today. Yeah, dude, it was not idling good last night. night. No. Any rod knock? Can we get a little rev up? Sounds good. Only cold. Dude, you're going 12 O's tomorrow. Watch out. <laughs> Holy crap, it's so hot. Yeah. Buenos dias, mullet. <laughs> Figured since I'm wearing the new Merca shirt in today's video, it's a good time to shamelessly plug all of our 4th of July merch, which we have almost everything still in stock at baldeagle.com. We got the Merca shirt. We got the stand back I built this shit myself shirt. We got the brand new McFarland Marine shirts. Also, you got to have the floating key fob. And then we got the freaking Jack Stan Jimmy shirt, dude. Glasses. We got the Freedom Factory hat, Cletus hat, the Cletus straw hat, the Freedom Factory straw hat. New colors on that too. Looking good. American flag on the bottom of that. We got the JH mechanic shirt, the JH mud truck shirt, hell yeah, brother license plate frames, and much, much more. All at baldeagle.com. Head on over, guys. Get it while you can. Nice. It's gonna be super important today. Yeah, you ready to do some navigating? Yeah. All right, guys. So back into the mountains we go. What's our first yeah. checkpoint? This is not the coolest checkpoint, but it's a place we can stop. Blazer's overheating, so we're pulled over. Huh? The freaking blazer of all things. I know. Being our problem. We just like started to climb. Oh my gosh. It's on biscuit, brother. Dude, look at our look at our trail coming in the parking lot, dude. Oh frick. He's just sprung a leak. <laughs> well, what kind of temps were we seeing here? Hey, she was <laughs> She was, she was running off. Did you try to use the nitrous to internally cool the engine? We tried to rigid it up. Oh, she's right back down to Hondo though. driving by far it was since wild. we started that was freaking nuts dude <laughs> the switchbacks that was uh some serious switchbacks like yeah, the engine braking oh dude it was it was scary though the trans is getting 
getting hot. And uh, we made it to the gas station. Fuel was hot. Everything. We need ice. Trans temps was hot. We need a lot of ice. Yeah. I hope they have some. We're cooked. All right, guys. So this line is the drain for our intercooler tank, and it's just hose clamped on here. So what we're going to do is move that to over the top of the trans cooler, and it's going to drip water on the trans cooler the whole drive. And we're going to see if that helps. Ladies and gentlemen, today's special guest. Kyle from 1320 Video. I feel like this is a good time to tell you thank you for taking me on race week like when I was six or seven years ago. Yeah. I definitely wouldn't be where I am had I not gone with you and we not make that video, oh, so I really appreciate that. <laughs> None of this would be happening. I'm so happy for Dude. all of us, really, you know? Who knows? I could be like a caveman or something. I don't know. <laughs> Whatever that day when we were in Pueblo and made that video put me on a path in life that I would never change. Checkpoint, checkpoint number one. I think we have two more, so not bad. Let's keep on ripping. Quick lunch stop at the Jimmy John's. Everyone else is catching up. We got a little bit ahead of everybody. Yeah. Ooh, that rain was dirty, dude. It really trashed the car. Yeah, the are still spinning. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's fun. Love the flag off the trailer. There's the big dog. He's leading the whole event. Big blowers car. Should we? Fueled up. Eyes down. Yeah. Now we're on the flat roads and the uh, car is running fantastic. 80 mile an hour yep. where it's allowed. And the trailer's good. Temps are freaking burning, but hey, Mullet's got this under, under control. And dude, the drip thing just working out so good trans temps have been so cool yeah it's just dripping right on the trans cooler it's hilarious i love it all right guys it is brutally hot out this stretch goes for 60 miles no fuel no nothing nothing you can do if you break down this is where these cars truly get tested i mean 
It is hot as hell. Our trans temp is just over 230, so we're backing down a little bit, but woo, it is scorching hot. Hang, hang it in there. But, you know, this is where cars fail. Gotta build them tough. We did it, friends. We did it. We made it to Nebraska. Yes, we did. Dude, Mullen is straight touring the country right now. All right, making a good solid rip here. Uh, the route's actually that way. We had to come about half mile off route to hit this uh, gas station. Fueling up, we got 200 and, uh, 250 miles left. We're about halfway, something like that. Yeehaw. All right, 11 gallons. I don't know if you can see that. 11 gallons for the Elko. She's drinking up some fuel, but making great progress. Oh, wow, looks so nice out. Oh, wow. Small towns, dude. Awesome. Ooh, my window is dirty, dude. <laughs> this thing needs a bath. Yeah, should have washed the last gas off. Last checkpoint of the day. Woo. Sweet. Oh, well, yeah. All right, let's get our picture and hit the road. All right, there we are. Checkpoint made. Last one of the day. Brent and I turned our drip valve on too high so we drained the water tank so now we gotta we can't use our cool shirts just the luxuries are you know we, we gotta have them, so we're gonna fix that real quick all right boys jackson and george and chet they've all fallen behind they were taking a break we decided to go and just get ahead because we don't want to get caught up if we have a breakdown or something their car is pretty reliable uh, the blazer i don't know but they're about probably 45 minutes behind us we still have hundreds of miles to go, so Brent and I are gonna keep keep on rolling. All right, so some guys did some burnouts. Who did they get? Oh. Runs a date right now, staring at the Elko while we wait for the boys to get in town. If you guys haven't ever had Runza, you know I'm from Nebraska originally. Gotta go here every time we're in town. Hey guys, <laughs> glad you made it. Nice and slow. Oh. oh, my lens is dirty. Oh my gosh, there's so many bugs. Oh, that's so bad. Dude, what happened to the hood? Oh my God, dude, dude I survived. You guys put plastic on a hot engine? <laughs> oh yeah, you could smell it burning. Really, that oh, cannot we be good. about 40 bags of ice on the trip. Oh my God. But we dude, really see. needed it on the radiator. 
Hold on, what happened with the hood? Why so, is there a huge gap? Uh, we had seven bags of ice at one time and it needed some persuasion. To oh, clip. to clip? But in order to sustain uh, cruisable speeds of up there, I know. Yeah, it, was, <laughs> it ripped pretty good though once you got her going. Just oh, had to yeah. ice it down. Yeah, no, I just kept icing it down. And I mean, it, it was either do 50 miles an hour and stay at 210 or buy dude. ice and stay at 240 and do it. It was 90. hot as hell today. Yeah. That's from your butt cheek, Dad dude. Bod. Yeah. Dad bod. Use it. Look at the hood, Parker. We dented the hood because they had so much <laughs> ice under it. Man, his butt cheek. When we were cruising behind them doing 80, 85, there was ice falling out for like 40 <laughs> miles. Yeah, like we made <laughs> one gas station and it didn't have like the good bags that are sealed. Yeah, had, like the, the little crappy place. ones. So the second you broke the ice loose on the ground, it just like fall apart. Yeah, the bag would fall apart. You'll have that. All right, well, all the cars made it. The Viper amazingly made it. Can't believe that. Shocking. Shocking. Blazers here. Elko made it. That was 540 miles in over 100 degree weather. So pretty proud of that. It's a solid units all around. It's going to do it for today. Thanks for watching. Do it for today. We'll freaking see you later.